Hello everyone and welcome to the part two, part three of the uh, of the Python web application series. Um, so today we're going to start uh, actual, actually storing some data. Um, and in this video, we will just store the notes in files. But in the part four, we will actually talk to a database. Um, just to make it a little bit easier for you in the beginning. Um, so I'm starting in the project. I'm just going to source our virtual environment again. again. And then I'm going to open up my editor. There we go. So what I'm thinking is that we, <clears throat> we're going to create another folder here called notes where we will store notes. Cool. Um, and we're also going to make another view. So we're going to copy the index view and call it uh, create notes.py. And we will use this view to create a note. Um, to create notes. Uh, cool. And let's make it create note.html. Cool. And that should be it. We should also create another template. We're just going to copy the index one. Let's create note.html. Um, and we're going to delete everything that's inside of there. And let's just do see that it's the correct view. And then we're going to go to the app.py and we're going to import the create note uh, view. And we're going to register it. And we're going to start our application. There we go. And if we go to, we should see this. So let's make this link actually go where it should. And it's in the layout of HTML. We're going to change the href of that button to the note. And we're going to change this one to that. Now we should be able to navigate around. Cool. Um, so we're going to create a form here to be able to create notes. So let's go to the create note of HTML and let's set up a simple form here. And we're going to use post. And we're just going to have a simple text area. Let's put a, let's actually put a class on this form called uh, notes form uh, so that we can style it a little bit. Uh, text area name is equal to note text. Uh, that should be it. Let's make that one a little bit bigger using CSS. clear our cache. Uh, oh, that wasn't much bigger. Let's make it um, easy. Let's make it 100% and let's make the note form to be the width with 80% and margin left auto margin right auto. Um, let's actually make that a little bit smaller, close to 50, and do margin. Let's push it down a little bit. Let's 
pretty good. Uh, let's make it a bit higher, a little bit. Let's add a little bit more of height. Uh, let's do uh, 300 pixels. That looks good. Let's add some text as well. Um, let's do table four is equal to no text. Let's add an ID here as well. And we're gonna need a button as well to be able to save it. Um, we'll go with that. Uh, and if you click this button, you will see method not allowed. And that is because we haven't allowed uh, the post method. Uh, so we need to go to the create note view and do uh, method is equal to post and get. Well, I think it might be methods. Yeah, methods uh, with an S. Now we should be able to click here. And now we want to store, when we type something here, we actually want to store that note. Um, um, so let's do that. Um, so first we want to import an object here called request. And then we want to do if request.method is equal to post. Uh, so if the method is post, if the form has been submitted, and we also want to check if this button has been clicked, and that name is create note. Uh, so we want to do if uh, create note in if uh, request dot form dot get. I think that's how you do it. Oh, it thinks, right, so now we're here, and if I click, yeah, that works, cool. So now we wanna get the text that's in here, and this one is called note text. So what we're gonna do is, uh, uh, text is equal to request.form.get. So now we have the text stored in that variable, so let's see if it is correct. So we're going to return it. We're going to type something, save, and we will see that text. Cool. So now we're just going to store it in a file inside of the notes folder. So to do, I think we're good. We're going to generate random uh, IDs for them. So I'm just going to create a, a function here to generate random IDs and we're going to do length 16. Let's actually call it random string. For that, we're going to need to import random. And then we're going to do uh, uh, chars is equal to a, a, b, c, d, e, f, g, h. So that's pretty much the entire alphabet. And then we're just gonna do for i in range, zero length, uh, and we're also gonna do uh, final string variable. Final string plus equals um, chars, um, random dot random dot rand int 
zero len chars minus one Return final string and that should be it i think uh we created an empty string and the alphabet uh with the numbers between zero and nine and then we iterate through the range of the length and we uh, append random characters from this string to the final string and then we return it cool uh, let's try it let's just try to return random string and it should be 16 because it's the default value yeah so now if we do click here we do get a random string and that works cool so now we want to write a file inside of the notes folder so to do that we're just gonna do with open um, uh, let's do can we do this no I think we can do that um, and then we want to do Let's call it dot node. Uh, there we go. So with open note, uh, note, um, th the, these curly brackets will be replaced by the random string using the Python format function. And now we're just gonna, uh, and we're gonna call this as uh, file. I'm gonna do file dot write text. And don't forget to close the file. There we go. And now we can do. Let's let's keep it there. Um, cool. We'll see if we get any errors. Let's do hello world. No such file or directory. I think we need to do. Um, v plus i know it's really weird but i think we need to do that or is it capital v no it should be uh, i think we might need to do uh sorry for this guys uh no yeah, there we go. Uh, hello world two. So now if we do refresh this, we, we will see some notes here. Cool. So now inside of the index, uh, we are iterating fake notes. We want to iterate real notes. So what we're going to do here is inside of the index, we're going to try and fetch these notes. Uh, so let's make a function for that. And we want to import something called glob. So it's it's a live it's a package for listing files inside of directories. So notes is equal to uh, glob dot glob note app notes uh, star dot note return notes. And now we could do notes. Um, notes equals to fetch notes. We won't get actual content here of the notes now. We won't get the file names, but that's good for start. No errors. Cool. And now in the, now we, you see what I did here? Uh, when we are rendering the template, I say notes is equal to notes. Uh, is equal to fetch notes and that means that this variable will be accessible from that index.html file cool so now we could do for notes in notes because this is the accessible variable 
let's print the note in here. Hopefully it will work. Yeah, we see the files here now. Uh, but we don't want to see the file name. We want to see the content. So to do that, just go into the uh, let's go into the index file again and do. Uh, we're gonna do some nice Python magic here. So what we're gonna do is that we're gonna do this, and then we're gonna do. Actually, we're not gonna do that. Uh, we're, gonna, we're gonna start off by doing that. And then we're gonna do final notes is equal to that. And then we're gonna do for note in notes find uh, with open note as note as file uh, final notes dot append file dot read file dot close do not forget to close the file and then we're going to return the final notes uh, I could actually make this function a bit more uh, pretty, but just for the sake of uh, uh, everyone to understand it, I just wrote it like this. So we're iterating through the file names and we're opening them, reading them and appending their content to, uh, uh, to the final notes array. And then we return the final notes array. So now this should be a list of content instead of file titles. And yes, it is. So let's try and create another note. Let's call it, uh, uh, this is part three. Go back and we should see that. Cool. Um, let's, uh, I want it so when you actually when you have created a note, I want you to be redirected to the the index page to actually be able to view the note. So I'm going to import the redirect function inside of the create note view. And if the request must method is post and the create note button has been clicked and we have written the file, I want to do return redirect and index. Cool. So now if we go to the new note button and we do like hello and save, we will end up here and our note is there. It's it's like alphabetical sorted so that's why our note ended up like right in the middle. Uh, let's if I do like underscore in the beginning Sorry, it's alphabetical sorted uh, by file name, so the content doesn't matter. Uh, yeah, but now we can actually store notes, which is really cool. Uh, I don't think it will work very well if we put a lot of content in it. Uh, it looks pretty weird. But anyway, uh, in the next video, we will actually talk to a real database and store them there instead of in files because it's really bad practice to store data in files. Uh, but I'll see you in the next video, and I hope you liked it.